only makes sense that the first DIY video I make on YouTube will actually be a giant spooky pumpkin. So if you want to see what this looks like, continue watching and let's get into it. So last night I got this whole side done. I need to do the middle and then the teeth kind of like right here. So I'm going to finish that and then we'll get into sanding. This is what we got so far. I think it's turning out really good. We're using a Dremel and a really old belt sander. So looking good. I'm gonna be honest, I think we missed a lot, so I'm going to bring you up to speed as to where we are with the pumpkin, and then we're gonna get back into the time lapses. I'll be right back. I've sanded a bunch of the pieces. I don't know how well you can see. I'll show you guys a close-up, but then I've also started to prime this guy. So we have a few gray pieces, and then we have a ton that are sanded and ready to be primed. And then we're on to painting, which I will be showing you guys that process because I like to use an airbrush for shading the painting. So I'm excited. We're gonna continue sanding, priming, sanding, priming, and continue on. So essentially, yeah, this is the non-primed pieces. Like everything in the milk is individual pieces. So I have everything kind of laid out. So this is the left eye, that's the right eye. That is the mouth, and then we have two of the side pieces. So we're cruising now. It's the sanding that takes the most work and the longest time, so. Oh yeah, I needed that. Like I said, I got finished all of the priming. Harold looks like a giant piece of clay. I'm gonna do a black backer board that kind of like sticks out a bit from the edge and then inside of his eyes and everything will be black and spooky. I can't wait, it's gonna look so cool. This is always the scariest part of the whole process is painting because I never want to screw it up at this point because that sucks. This is the orange we are using. I just like the color of it. I don't know how it's going to work, but again, this is just the base coat because I am going to use fusion mineral paint on top to shade it, but... This is the color we're going for. It's bright, super bright. Like, that's so crazy. Ugh. I hope I primed well. That's so scary. That's so sick. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Looks so cool with color. Okay, so I did the first coat of actual color on Harold, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm very excited with how it's looking so far. This is the top stem. It looks very yellow, but in person it's more of a lighter green. I did it this bright so that I can shade it with a darker green and it wouldn't overpower it or look like I didn't do anything. So I made the base layer quite bright. But then this part looks so good. 
it's looking amazing. I didn't really care too much about the inner edges of some of the pieces because it is a pumpkin, so a lot of the pieces are going to be squished together. So I really just focused on the outside when it came to like the edge pieces mostly, but it is looking good with how this is going. Hey, boo boo. Boo boo. Say hi. Say hi, boo boo. Look at that tail. It looks pretty good. Can't wait to do the detail stuff. It's gonna look so cool. I couldn't wait to see what it was looking like, so I kind of roughly pieced it together. I am so amazed with how this is looking so far. Like, I, I can't even express Frenchie how exciting this is. And he doesn't even care. Anyway. Alrighty, we got some fusion mineral paint to do the highlights, some shading, all that fun stuff. This paint, fusion mineral paint, watered down, works amazing in an airbrush, so you know. Uh, so this is the second time I'll be using Fusion to do any type of airbrushing. I did an outro this video, so here it is. This is Harold. I have no idea how long he actually took me to make because I finished him over the span of a few months periodically whenever I had a moment. So uh, yeah, I have no idea how long it took me. I do know it was a lot of hours of work and effort. So for my second big project, I think he turned out amazing. There's a few things I'd probably change next time, but I love him and he's going to live on my wall all year round and if you guys want to attempt a herald of your own I'll leave a link in the description below and you guys can you know download it I'll probably put it up for like two bucks and then yeah you guys can attempt a herald of your own thank you so much for watching this video I really do appreciate it if you are new here consider subscribing if you enjoy this video drop a like and yeah if you have any suggestions for future content let me know in the comments below Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.